So the first place I want to talk about is Logan, Ohio. I went to Hawking Hill State Park last year for my birthday in April. It was really pretty that time of spring. Um, we did stay at the park lodge. It had only been open for maybe six months by that time. I did really enjoy it and I would definitely go back again. It was very clean. They had a nice restaurant inside. They had a coffee shop. They have a pool table upstairs that you can go enjoy and hang out and shoot pool with some of your friends or family members that you're traveling with. Um, they do have an indoor um, pool and hot tub that you can utilize when it's not summertime and the actual pool's open. Now on to talking about the trails. I ended up not doing as many as I hoped to for my first time there, but it gives me more reason to go back. Um, I would say that I didn't get to go to Rock House, but my parents and my fiance went there and they really enjoyed it and how different it was compared to a lot because it looked like a cave in a way with how the rocks are set up. I did go with them to Old Man's Cave. It was about a mile, I think, overall. Um, I would definitely do that one again because once you get down by the waterfall and then loop back around up by the caves, it's so pretty. Now, as far as food goes, I would say that we did try Hungry Buffalo because my dad really was insistent on trying it when we first got there. So I didn't really argue with it. It was up for it. Well, I would say that it was pretty bland if you're asking for an honest opinion. It's not somewhere that I'd have any desire to go back to when there's other restaurants that have a lot better flavor. Um... It just wasn't really seasoned well, and overall just not anything that I'd rave about. Um, we did go to the Captain Ron's Pirate Pizza Place. Um, it was pretty good. There was something weird that I, I can't completely remember, but I think they charge for each additional refill for pop, which I found that to be weird this day and age that they wouldn't just charge more to allow you to get more pop. Um, we did also go to the old Dutch restaurant while we were there. Um, it was a buffet style and we did really like that. They have a lot of different variety of meats and sides and desserts to enjoy. While we were up that way, I told my fiance one of the days that I would like to go to um, Columbus and go up to around the Easton Shopping Center. So we did that on that Saturday. And while we were there, we tried this restaurant called Melts. They have different kinds of unique grilled cheeses that you can get. I got the one with macaroni and cheese. It was phenomenal. If there was one place I was going to go back to, it would definitely be that place. And then on our way home, on Sunday, we ended up stopping at Hangover Easy in Athens, Ohio. Um, my fiance, he ended up getting chicken and waffles. That was really good because he let me have a bite. And then I also had a some kind of waffle with strawberries, and I would highly recommend that as well. So if someone were to ask me, do I have any plans in the future to make another trip to Logan, Ohio? I definitely do. I would probably make some different changes with the restaurant choices to try and branch out a little bit more. But I do definitely plan on going back and I probably would stay at the lodge again. But I'm not completely opposed to running out a cabin as well if I go with family members just so then we can have more people there to hang out together.